This is a quick and easy introduction to EasyBib. You're going to absolutely love this application. It is so easy to use that even I can use it. And it's going to be fun. And you will be able to document all of the research that you do throughout the course by using this easy application. First, we're going to go to EasyBib.com. You're going to set up a free account. And then when you log in, it will automatically take you to my citations list. When you start a new citation list, you will simply click this link. You will give your project a name. You will always use the most current MLA format. And you simply click Create. Throughout your college career, you will create several different projects that you will be able to access by simply logging in to your citations and you'll be able to add and create new citations and new pages to show all your wonderful research. Let's look at one of the ones that I created. Once I click on that link in my projects, everything that I research and create will automatically go into that correct folder which is wonderful because we don't want citations going in some crazy place. Let's practice creating a citation together. First, I need to decide what the source is. Did I get this from a website, from a book, from a journal, or from one of these other 59 options? Let's say I'm writing a research essay on K-9 military units. I go to Google, I type that in, I see a number of articles that I can use. I don't want to use Wikipedia. Why? Because Wikipedia information can be changed on a whim, and so it is not a legitimate vetted website. Vetted means that the website is well documented and has not been changed and cannot be changed by a visitor to that website. Let's go to this one. I clicked on that and I'm taken to this article written by Christopher Mitchell and dated August 26, 2019. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to copy that URL, and now I'm going to leave this open and I'm going to go back over to EasyBib. That was a website source, so I'm going to click Website, and I'm going to type in, copy, paste in that URL, and I'm going to let EasyBib search. EasyBib found that article and that website, so I cl simply click Cite. That shows me the information that EasyBib found. I'm going to continue, and it's going to bring up these boxes to see if there's anything else that I need to add. Well, one thing that we know we need to change is this title. It's not going to be in all caps because we don't want to scream at the reader. So let's fix this real quick. And then it already has the author, and it has that author's name. Although it says author, so let's take out all that stuff. So we just have Christopher Mitchell. And we come down here. This is where it is. That's when it was published. And that's it. Now, if I was creating an annotated bibliography, very simply, I would simply click this and add a notation about what this website is and how that was informing my essay. Remember, when I complete my final citations, I will not want to include an annotation. That's only something that I use whenever I'm writing an essay and I need to remember what was that website for, and I have an annotation. Now, everything is filled in that I can find, and... I complete the citation. And there it is.
It all looks good. It looks fantastic. Now, when I have completed this entire project and I'm ready, then I will come up and I will click Export All. I will click Microsoft Word. That comes with your Outlook account and should be easy for you to find. Make sure that you always click Microsoft Word, then Export. Wait a few seconds for EasyBib to do its thing. And then you will see that citation works cited page created. Simply click on that. And voila, there are my citations, all beautifully formatted. And what I want to do is make sure that I come up here in my Word document and I enable editing. First of all, I see some problems here. Do you? What in the world is all this stuff? Okay, so we're just going to take all that out. But now we've got a problem because we need to have this writer's last name first. So I'm going to cut that. I'm going to add it there. Oops. And there we go. But now that puts it in the wrong place, doesn't it? because it's not alphabetical and our work cited needs to be al alphabetical so I'm going to cut it from there scroll down here where it goes which would be move right under here oops that left me with a gap I need to backspace and take that gap out now that looks good looks good whoops here's another problem Somehow one of them got duplicated, so I'm simply going to take that out. And now let's look through the rest of it. Looks good. Very nice. And whenever I have completed all of this, then I simply come up to my Word document. I make sure that I save it. And then I can copy this. I can paste it into the end of my essay and I can do whatever I need to do with this citation page. Isn't that wonderful? It's all formatted exactly correctly. That concludes this beginning tutorial on how to create a works cited page with Easy, Easy Bib.